Hello there. Yes, you. Hi. Yes, you've clicked. You've come to watch a video that I've made. Another video. I don't know if you've watched other videos, but I hope you've watched the other videos. And I don't say welcome to all my subscribers, non subscribers, trolls, bots, and lurkers alike. Hello. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, or if you're watching in the future. Welcome. This one's about time and, and ascension and time shifting. We are nearing a time of more visible and tangible changes for the planet, for the collective consciousness of humanity. For those of us who are able to participate consciously in this process, these changes are very encouraging. Even as the workload feels like it's increasing, for those who are not, con not able to consciously participate, they will be participating nonetheless. As the planet shifts her station of identity and moves into a soul embodiment, all those who kept their bodies will make their transition with her. We may soon witness a collective dark night of the soul as humanity unknowingly moves into a higher frequency platform, causing all that has been unseen, unhealed and untangible to a bubble to the surface. It's like lifting the veil. As chaotic as it may, this may appear in the outer escape, the pressures being applied are endlessly supported. In this newsletter, we will do, do deeper into the mechanics of this unfolding process in order to better understand how we might best participate with these changes at both the micro and macro levels. There are many stubble forces, reconfigurations occurring at the quantum level of the planetary mainframe that are changing the way that the external and collective energy fields organize and manifest into the world. This has shifted the way the original human race Blueprint relies its intelligent information into the collective consciousness fields of Earth. When this collective field shifts in this way, it means there has been a frequency shift in the collective agreement that impacts the overall consciousness evolution of the planet. Therefore, the timelines shift. As current timelines shift, this also shifts the coordinate location energetic contents of the past future timelines existing on the Earth plane at the same time. There are powerful infusions of plasmic light and the new time codes that are filtering onto the earth as we pass through the silver gate. An intersection point exists between two circuit paths, the path of the sun and the galactic equator, which opens a gateway between the Taurus and the Gemini constellations. As the sun transits through Gemini, the transmission of the zodiac principle greatly influences the Earth's body and therefore influences the behavior of the collective consciousness of humanity. Currently, the pressures are highly to synthesize the pairs of opposites that exist in the world of forces to evolve beyond the lower density black substance that has been buried in the collective consciousness fields of the Earth. A lot of black substance has been manifested into timelines from embodied alien architecture which make Mother's creation principle. And that end is what the dark entities tend to hijack. The building up of pressure in between these opposing forces and groups is reaching its peak which is bifurcating or splitting apart timelines. This greatly amplifies in collective fields, especially during summer solstice through mid-July as planetary timelines shift. The new features, new timelines, are being transcended to the previous histories of alien hyperbolization, the destructive victimizer programming that has been installed into the lower collective consciousness. These new timelines are similar to airplane runway and the design to help bridge the current reality of Earth that is the result of accumulated energies of the past destructive histories with NNA, negative ally, alien alliance, to collect the higher reality potentials of the divine human and future Earth. We are on the runway that leads to the higher reality potentials in future timeline now. Not everyone is on the same timeline. Try to remember this fact to help bring greater comfort when experiencing intense, sudden, spontaneously life-altering changes that are more likely to occur during this time. Corrections are being made to, to the current collective human DNA imprint that is reconnecting new future memories. Therefore, new timelines into the various planetary regions and within crystal caverns, these areas hold the histories of the seedings of the Earth along with the entire genetic record and the history of the planetary 12 tribes. The planet's lower dimensional frequency bands and their energy vortex are rolling up and dissolving into the giant grail points, which charges the species memory records. As time shifts, it changes previous trigger events recorded throughout history and thus 
has a chain reaction that changes future memories in the ancestral and gene uh, genetic code of the planetary tribal identities. The planetary architect is transmitting back the ancient history of humanity's true origins from other ancient builder races as the original instruction set is transmission from the awakened bo Albion body. Our species memory goes much further back before the seedings of the planetary tribal identities. This informs the collective consciousness field on another non-human species. That humanity did not come from the Anunnaki or off-planet races, or those races that were involved in genetically modifying and cloning human genome in the past. The Elvin and Cather body hold the Holy Father and Holy Mother principles in Earth. As these bodies gradually unify, they are releasing more original cloning into the collective consciousness field, which contains the true identity of the ancient builder races or the guardian hosts. This ever event directly changes many of the histories and timelines that are recorded upon Earth's 